Welcome back everyone to this channel. As you can see by the thumbnail and title of this video, we're going to be talking a little bit about the whole uh, shitstorm that's been happening around Godot recently. Now, I'm going to make a quick disclaimer. This video is not going to be talking about what happened, nor is it going to be talking about my opinion on what happened. If you want to know, just actually before we get into this video, if you want to know what happened, I do suggest you stop watching this video and go check it out. Uh, there's a lot of news channels that, that cover this stuff. I'm not a news channel. As you guys know, I'm a just a small creator. I like making tutorials for you guys. Uh, I really enjoy teaching. I really enjoy making games. That's it. I'm not a news channel. I'm not a drama person. I don't get involved in this shit. However, I did want to make a video on this uh, just to kind of talk to you guys a little bit about this. Um, and I'll, you'll see why in just a second. But basically, uh, this whole thing has obviously impacted Godot. The whole storm that's been happening is going to impact Godot. And a lot of it, people have been comparing it to the whole Unity thing that happened a little over a year ago, I think. And that was pretty advantageous for you for Godot, obviously. A lot of people came from Unity to Godot. In fact, you might be one of those people watching right now. And a lot of people are concerned with the whole thing that's happening with Godot. Uh, in fact, I'm not the, alone. I know me and a few other creators, uh, fellow creators like Gwiz, is also concerned about this. I know I'm not alone. And I basically want to talk to you guys about that. I'll give my thoughts on it and my opinion in that sense. I'm not going to talk about the whole Godot thing. Now, moving forward, essentially, what does this mean for Godot? I think this doesn't actually mean anything. Now, obviously, this can be a negative impact. But at the end of the day, I want to just emphasize, and I think a lot of people are forgetting this, Godot is open source. Anyone can work on it. There's not just a team of Godot. There's no such thing as the Godot team. Right? They're the people that work on the engine. And they get paid to do the, that, but the engine is still open source. It's still there. In fact, you can even see the other. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen this. Actually, there's another engine engine called Redo, which is just the G replaced with an R. Basically, they're a branch off of Godot. Uh, I think they recently just branched off of Godot, and they're just going to try to restate the mission. Basically, they're Godot. So again, this kind of emphasizes the fact that Godot is never going to die in this sense because Godot is open source, so anyone can pick it up and just keep working on it. So even if the Godot team that is currently working on this project on Godot just all of a sudden decide to stop, that doesn't really matter. Obviously, it will slow down Godot a lot, a lot, right? You can see that Godot is improving very fast and rapidly, and they're coming out with new releases very, very quickly. In fact, 4.3 uh, just came out, and 4.4 is already being worked on. Not many engines are doing this, right? So Godot is progressing very quickly. Now, obviously, if the team working on it currently decides to stop, then it would start progressing a lot slower as it is still community-based, uh, community-run, right? So a lot of people will push to it and commit to it. But again, this is me just stating the engine is open source. So this whole drama thing happening, I don't think it will impact too much on this channel, nor will it impact too much on other Godot channels. I do think smaller Godot channels might die out a little bit. Uh, I do think other creators will be... Th this is kind of sad to think, um, but I do think a lot of other smaller creators will be more disheartened to make videos on Godot in the future, which does suck. Uh, but personally, I'm going to keep making Godot content for you guys. Uh, I know a few other creators like Gwiz and uh, Stay at Home Dev, all those guys, we're all going to keep making videos most likely on Godot. Uh, so. Don't worry too much about the engine itself. The engine itself is pretty separate to the politics. I know that there is a lot of stuff happening in politics and the whole Twitter thing. But again, just to emphasize, the engine's open source. No one cares. And I don't care about the whole politics thing. I know a lot of you guys don't care. I know a lot of you guys are maybe even like me. You might enjoy reading about it and it might be funny and whatever. But at the end of the day, it doesn't impact the engine itself. So the work on the engine will stay separate, most likely. Now, obviously, I'm just kind of speculating. So a lot of the stuff I'm saying is not facts. So don't take anything I'm saying as fact. So don't go down in the comments just yelling at me, you're wrong, blah, blah, blah. I'm just uh, giving you guys my thoughts, um, giving you guys what I am plan on doing in the future. And I do hope that other creators like me uh, continue to make Godot content. And without further ado, I will see you guys in the next tutorial.